Hello, and welcome to the Carnegie Library of Pittsburgh's Kids Club at Home. My name is Kevin, and I'm really, really glad that you're joining us today. Today's activity will involve us writing and drawing our names in interesting and creative ways that tell a little bit about our identity, who we are, what makes us special, and what's important to us. Now, I enjoy doing this for those very same reasons. It gives me a chance to share those kinds of things about myself, to tell a little bit more about who I am and what my story is. Now, caregivers, drawing is an essential part of literacy and an important first step in the writing process, even for older kids and adults. And it also, especially when you write about your drawing, helps you build vocabulary, which is an important part of literacy, and today's vocabulary word is really identity. Now, for today's icebreaker, I'd like to ask if you could have any animal in the whole world as a pet, what animal would you choose? Now, it's been a long time since I've had a pet, but if I really get to choose from any animal in the whole world, I would choose a sloth. They're really cute. They look happy all the time, and it would be really hard to lose a sloth, and I think that counts for something too. What about you? What animal would you choose? Let us know in the comments. So as I said, today's activity involves identity. And identity is hard to define because it's so many things, but really it comes down to it's who you are. It's what you believe, what's important to you, what you like to do and eat and think about, where you're from and where you live. All those things and more wrapped together are your identity. So take me for example. I live here in Pittsburgh, but I grew up in New York City. New York is a really important place to me, so it's a really big part of my identity. So take a moment to think about it. Do you have an important place or a special interest? Whatever it is, big or small, it's part of your identity. And think about the people around you too, the people you know really well. Do you know what's special to them? Again, a special place or thing they like to do. Maybe they're nearby right now and you can ask them. Today's activity is inspired by a book called Being the Change by Sarah Ahmed. And it's available as an audiobook on Hoopla. It is primarily for adult educators. And if you enjoy the activity, you should check out Wide Open Schools website or the Create an Award for Yourself activity from the Library of Congress. Those are really great too. So all you really need for today's activity is not much. You need a piece of paper. And I don't even have a piece of paper. I have a folder. That works just fine. And you need things to write with. I don't have that much to write with. I have some crayons and a Sharpie. And between those things, I should be just fine. If you have other fancy things, of course you can use them too, but all you need is something to write on and something to write with. And we'll start by writing your name really big and fancy or whatever way you want, and then drawing pictures and writing around it in ways that share what's important to you. So I'm gonna get started on mine right now and then I'll show it to you and you can tell us about yours. All right, so I finished my drawing and let's take a look at what I came up with. So we've got a few things here. First of all, my name, nice and big, and in my two favorite colors, orange and blue, which are also the main colors of some of my favorite sports teams, which are really important to me. And also, New York has a lot of tall buildings and New York's an important place to me, so I wanted to show that. Here's one here. And also, I really like basketball. I don't play as much as I used to, but I love watching it, so I've got a basketball hoop and a ball there too. And over here in this corner, I have a graphic novel. I like to read everything, but I really like to read graphic novels. So I wanted to draw that here too, because graphic novels are an activity that I like to do. And then last, I have a few things that you can hear a lot in New York. I've got It's Showtime. If you've been to New York and ridden the subway, you might know that one. I've got Yo, a common way of, let's say greeting people sometimes in New York. And then also taxi, because sometimes people are looking for a taxi and they will yell and see if one is available. So some of this is about New York and some of this isn't, but you put it all together 
and it's really a little bit about who I am and what I think makes me special. So what about you? How did yours go? What did you put on your drawing that's important to you and your identity? And if you could do it all over again, would you do it the same or would you make some changes? I think I would make some changes too, but I probably need some more time to think about those. But for now, I'm gonna think about where I can put this and how I might use it. It might just go right on my fridge for me to look at. If you like today's activity and are interested in thinking more about identity, check out Your Name is a Song, a picture book by Jamila Tompkins Bigelow. It's available for immediate checkout on Hoopla, so once you do check it out there, it'll be there for you to read on your screen right away. And it's important to note caregivers that reading books and doing related hands-on activities helps us strengthen what we learn, put new ideas into context for children, and generally helps them build empathy by learning about other people's identities and experiences. The library has even more resources related to identity, including a bunch of really great book lists for kids. There's the African American Identity and Everyday Life book list, the Black, Indigenous, and People of Color book list, Read Proud LGBTQ book lists, all full of great titles for kids. And if you need a library card, you can sign up for one online at our website, carnegielibrary.org, or visit your local location with a grown-up and sign up for a card there in person. And if you have any questions about the process, give us a call at 412-622-3114, and someone will be happy to help you out. Thanks again for hanging out with us at Kids Club at Home. We really enjoyed having you. You should share with us what you made today by tagging us at Carnegie Library, and we'd love to take a look. And also, keep an eye out for grab-and-go supplies at your neighborhood location for future activities. Thanks again for joining us. We really miss you, and take care.